we all fall into patterns sometimes where we're not as active as we would like, we're not eating as healthy as we would like. And if you're in that place for an extended time, you may notice a little extra weight gain, feeling sluggish and low energy. What you need is something to break you out of that pattern, and that's what this practice is all about. Hi, I'm David, and today it's a full body yoga workout to help you lose the extra weight and inspire you with confidence and clarity to help you look and feel your best. Let's begin in an easy, comfortable seat. You can sit in any position that helps you feel relaxed and grounded, legs crossed is fine, up on your heels, sitting up on a cushion, all good. We'll spend a few moments with our eyes closed and paying attention to our breath. And this is so important because our practice is our personal refuge. And when we bring our awareness and attention to this present moment and we let all the problems of life go for just a little while, we cultivate a deep state of healing and it is really, really powerful. It will change the whole trajectory of your day. So if your mind is anxious and you're, you're feeling kind of fidgety, I invite you to just listen to my cues, pay attention to your breath, relax, and see where it takes you, okay? Let's close our eyes, hands to the knees or in your lap or wherever they feel most comfortable, and begin to breathe naturally in through your nose and out through your nose. With each breath, relax from the crown of your head across the scalp and your brow. Feel the muscles around your eyes start to soften and relax. Bring all of your awareness more and more to your breath. Just a gentle awareness on the breath. Relax your cheeks. Relax your jaw. Feel as if every exhale, all of the tension and tightness and stress within you is melting into the breath. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Couple more breaths. Each exhale taking you to a place of deeper stillness and openness. And keeping your eyes closed, dip your chin to your chest and roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Let the right ear fall away from the, or the right shoulder rather, fall away from the right ear. Feel that nice stretch, and then take the chin to the chest, let's take it to the other side, right ear, right shoulder, and left shoulder falls away from the left ear. And just go back and forth a few times like this, rolling the head back and forth. Breathe into those spaces that open up in the neck. If it feels good for you, you can let your head fall all the way back and take some full circles. For some of us, that won't feel very good or natural, so if that's you, just go back and forth, rolling the chin across the chest. And then roll the right ear to the right shoulder once again, and bring your right hand to the top of the head and just let the weight of your arm pull the right ear gently, very gently down toward the right shoulder. Let the left shoulder fall away from that left ear. Feel this nice stretch in the neck. You can look down a little bit here. Feel the stretch into, to the back of the neck. And then back to the side. Release your right hand. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take it to the other side. Left ear, left shoulder, left hand comes to the top of the head and let the weight of the arm pull the left ear gently down. You're not pulling with muscle strength. You're just letting the weight of the arm do all the work here, gravity doing the work. Let that right shoulder fall from the right ear. Breathe into that space of the right neck. Look down a little bit. Feel the stretch 
move into the back of the neck. And then look back up. And release the hands, sit up nice and tall. Sweep your hands to the sky. Great big breath. Cactus the arms, stick your tongue out. Lion's breath. <sighs> Let's make a little bird's beak with the hands. Tips of the fingers to the tops of the shoulders. Kundalini twist. This helps to revitalize the breath, the energy, and open up the spine. So as we inhale, we'll twist to the left. Exhale, twist to the right. Here we go. Back and forth with the breath. The eyes can be gently open or closed here, whatever feels good. Big full breaths. You move at a pace that feels right for you, right? So if you start to get dizzy or anything, you slow down, manage your pace. Big full breaths. and start to relax more and more, letting the momentum of the arms swing you back and forth, inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. The more you relax, the more release you'll find up and down the spine. Inhale, turn to the front, sweep your hands up to the sky, bring your palms together overhead and hold your breath for three, two, one, exhale, let the hands float down to your knees, sit tall, breathe naturally, relax the shoulders. And blink your eyes open. Sweep your legs around in front of you. Let's take a nice hamstring stretch here, forward fold. So feet hip distant apart, flex your feet, root the sit bones, and as you inhale, reach into the sky, big breath. Exhale, nice, easy fold. Just let your upper body melt over the legs here. When you feel a little resistance, stop, breathe, relax into it. Don't force it. And then take a gentle internal rotation of the legs. So turn the toes and the knees inward. Feel your sit bones spread apart on the mat. And then melt to your fullest expression, wherever that is. Relax into it. Don't force, just go easy. And as you inhale, rise up a little counter stretch, bend the knees, hands and feet come down, press into the heels and the palms, lift your hips, let your head fall back. Take a big breath in, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Lower your sit bones, sweep your legs around behind you and find tabletop, wrists under shoulders, knees under the hips. Curl the toes under, lift your hips and push back, downward dog. Pedal the feet, bend one knee and draw the opposite heel down to the earth. Feel that beautiful stretch up the back line to the legs. And then begin to move freely. Maybe dip the hips and heels from side to side. Maybe wave the body forward and back. Don't even look at me here. Just listen to your body and move in any way that feels free and joyful. There's no doing it right here. Just move in a way that feels flowy and easy. And then coming back into downward dog, great big breath. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Slowly walk your feet to your hands, bend into your knees and wave up the spine. As you inhale, reach your hands into the sky and let's sit down into a nice deep chair. So we're gonna ease our way into this with each breath, taking it a little bit lower, bending a little bit deep, more deeply in the knees, and then shift the weight back into the heels now so you really feel the thighs engage. Reach your hands up, 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 and then relax the shoulders and take it down even deeper, feel it. But relax, see if you can find a space of ease and openness in the upper body here. As you inhale, rise up, one leg mountain pose, lift that left knee, and now extend the left leg, point the toes, and float that left foot all the way back into a crescent lunge. So the left leg is strong and straight, press into the ball of the left foot, bend deeply into the front knee. Inhale, reach your hands to the sky. Exhale, spin the back heel down and open into warrior two. So the angle of that back foot is up to you, but you wanna to roll to the outside edge of the back foot, seal the heel into the earth, and then open the front knee so you can see the big toe inside the knee. 
Relax the shoulders, breathe. And now let's float. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Palms meet overhead. Exhale, dive down. Moving with the breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Inhale, rise. Exhale, nice and deep. One more time. Inhale, we take it up. And exhale, we come down deep into your full expression of warrior two. Front thigh is trending parallel to the mat here. Flip the front palm, take it up and back, reverse warrior. Left hand alongside the back thigh, reach the front hand up and back, reach, reach, reach. And as you exhale, we come forward into extended side angle. So option one, right elbow to the knee, palm up. Left hand, reach up and over, spiral the left pinky finger in. Option two, you can bring that right hand down to the mat or to a block inside the front foot. And option three, you can take a bind here. Reach the right hand under the front thigh, left hand around the low back, and bind the fingers the out, to the outside of the left hip, or the right hip, rather. Turn the gaze up. So any one of those three, stay with it. Breathe, relax. As you inhale, we come back to a low lunge. So the hands frame the front foot, spin the back heel up, and step the front foot back to plank pose. Now we're gonna work through a couple of mountain climbers and a couple of Hindu push-ups. So listen to the cues, the details are important here. Draw the navel in, tilt the bowl of the pelvis up, lengthen the tailbone down, keeping that strong core shape. Sweep the left knee out to the side and all the way up to the top of the left tricep. Touch and step it back. We're moving slowly with intention. Right knee sweeps out to the side, wrap the elbows in, touch that right knee to the top of the right tricep, step back, plank pose. Now, Hindu push-ups. We come down to the knees and the elbows and forearms. Keeping the knees on the ground, shift forward to a low push-up, hovering the chest an inch above the mat, heels into the butt. Keeping the knees where they are, straighten the arms. Exhale, lower your chest and your toes to the mat. Inhale, push up and back to downward dog. One more time, knees and elbows come down. Keeping the knees on the ground, shifting forward, hover the chest an inch above the mat. Keep the knees where they are, straighten the arms. And exhale, come all the way down. This time we're gonna stay down and extend the right arm straight in front of you. Roll to the right side. Now, make a long straight line here from your right fingertips all the way down the spine to the heels. Flex your feet and bring the right hand behind your head to support. The left hand stays in front of the chest on the mat. We're gonna move into some leg lifts here some hip abductor leg lifts. So just lift that left leg as high as you can, but notice my toes are pointing forward. I'm pushing through the heel, and at the top I squeeze my left glute. We're gonna do 10, okay? Here we go, lift. As high as you can, squeeze the glute for 10. Lift for nine, squeeze. For eight, for seven, nice and slow and intentional. Six, five, keep the toes pointing forward. Don't let the toes go up. Four, three, couple more, you got this. Lift as high as you can, two, and then one, and this time keep the leg up there. Push through the heel, turn the toes forward, squeeze the left glute for four, three, two, one, slowly lower the leg, roll to your belly, and sink back to child's pose, hips to heels. Come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Bend the knees, look forward, step or float, feet to hands, halfway lift, forward fold. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine, and as you inhale, reach your hands to the sky, and let's find a nice deep chair pose once again. Remember, settle in easy, slowly, each breath taking you deeper. Bend into the knees, shift the weight back into the heels, feel the activation of the thighs, reach your hands up to the sky, relax the shoulders, and just breathe. Let all the muscles of the face, the cheeks, the jaw be soft, relax.
As you inhale, rise up, one leg mountain pose. This time, take the right knee with you, lift it, and then extend the right toes. Hold the hips nice and level, and slowly step that right foot all the way back into crescent lunge. Nice. Deeply bend the left knee, reach up to the sky, big breath. Exhale, spin the back heel down, open, warrior two. Roll to the outside edge of the back foot. Open up the front knee so you see that big toe inside the knee, and let's float. Inhale, straight front leg, palms meet. Exhale, we dive down. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, we dive down. Move with grace and ease. Turn it into a dance. You can close your eyes here if that feels good. Down, one more time, we float up. And this time we take it down to our deepest, fullest expression, warrior two. That front thigh is parallel to the mat or close. Relax the shoulders, flip the front palm, take it up and back, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, come forward, extended side angle. Remember the options, option one, left elbow to the knee, palm up, right hand up and over, spiral that left or the right pinky finger in. Option two, bring the left hand down to a block or the mat inside the left foot. Or option three, bind, sweep the left hand under the front thigh, the right hand around the low back. Bind the hands to the outside of that left hip and then turn your gaze up to the sky. So the back heel is down here and you're pressing to the outside edge of the back foot. As you inhale, release the bind if you have it. Come back to a low lunge. Spin the back heel up and step back to plank pose. Draw the navel into the spine. Press into the earth. Feel the core get strong here. Mountain climbers. Sweep the right knee out to the side and all the way up. Touch the right tricep and step it back. Left knee out to the side. All the way up to the left tricep and step it back. And now some Hindu push-ups. Knees and elbows. Shifting forward, keeping the knees on the ground, a low push-up position, hover the chest, keep the knees on the ground, straighten the arms, and exhale, lower your chest and toes to the mat. Push yourself up and back to downward dog. One more time, knees and elbows come down, shift it forward, low push-up, the knees stay on the ground. Inhale, push up, or straighten the arms rather. Exhale, lower everything down. And this time, extend that left arm overhead, roll to your left side, and make a long straight line. Left fingertips all the way through the spine to the heels. Flex your feet here. Right hand is on the mat to stabilize. And now, leg lifts, abductor. So these work the outside muscles of the hips. They're really great at sculpting the hips and full body strengthening here. So here we go. Lift that right leg as high as you can, keeping the toes pointed forward. Squeeze the glute at the top, and that's one. Bring it down, lift, squeeze at the top, two. Lift, squeeze at the top, and three. Lift, squeeze at the top, four. Take it up, squeeze, and five. Really lift as high as you can here for six. Taking it up. For seven, two more. Eight, squeeze. Nine, squeeze. And then 10, we're gonna squeeze and keep it up there. Push through the heel. Push through the outside pinky toe edge of the foot for four, three, two, one. Slowly lower the leg, roll to your belly, and sink your hips to your heels. Child's pose. Awesome work. Let's take a few moments here. Relax. Slow it down. Let the forehead rest on the mat, and let everything be soft and easy. Bring your awareness to your breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front. And let's open up the hamstrings and the hips here with a little stretch called Janyu Shirshasana. So extend the right leg long, bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh. As you inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky, great big breath, and as you exhale, fold over your extended right leg. But fold slowly without forcing anything here. So 
Extend the crown of your head and your heart forward. Get a nice long spine and just ease into it, breath by breath. When you feel some resistance, you can stop, hang out. And then if you feel more space, you can continue to fold. Take a little bit of an internal rotation of this extended leg. So turn the right knee and the toe inward. Feel the right sit bone spread open on the mat. And take it to your fullest expression here. And as you inhale, rise. Bring the left hand to the mat behind you. Sweep that right hand up and over your head and then stretch from your right toes to your right fingertips. And then sweep that right hand in great big circles. Feel the stretch across your ribs. Take it in the opposite direction. Beautiful. Exhale, slowly come down to your sit bones. And let's do the other side. Extend the left leg long. Sole of the right foot comes in. Big breath as you sweep the hands up to the sky and exhale, fold forward. Again, take it slow, take it easy. There's no forcing in yoga. If you ever feel like you're forcing or you're rushing, that's your cue to slow down. Bring your awareness back to your breath and listen to your body. Turn the left toes and the left knee in. Feel the left sit bone spread open a little bit and then ease into your fullest expression here wherever that is. Inhale, rise. Right hand to the mat behind you. Lift that left hand up and over stargazer pose. Push into the ball of the left foot. Reach through the left fingertips and then some big sweeping circles of that left hand. One direction and the opposite direction. Exhale, lower your sit bones, come all the way down to your back and hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a sweet hug, honor yourself for showing up for your practice and take your feet up in the air, happy baby, grab the outside edges of your feet, pull gently down on the feet so that the knees draw in toward the armpits. Let your low back relax down to the mat. Maybe your sacrum finds the earth here, finds the mat. Close your eyes. Let's take a little rock side to side here. Great big breath. Open mouth, exhale. Ha! Ah, release the feet and melt into a sweet shavasana. Let go. fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, reach your hands overhead and stretch from your fingers to your toes. Feel the body waking to a new beginning. As you exhale, draw knees into your chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself gently up to a seat. 
at the top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders. And raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. We bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. If you would like to continue with a more restorative practice, more stretching, more opening, go ahead and click the restorative practice next to me. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy these practices, please consider subscribing. It really supports me. It supports this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. Thanks.